Hey Alexis, I just had to make this video as a response to your video about your generation, the Millennials. I'm of the older generation who saw their 40th birthday quite a few years ago, but I just wanted to tell you I really appreciate your video and your apology. I know you probably got a lot of hate comments, which really happens way too often nowadays over any video, no matter how innocent. So I just wanted to let you know that I appreciated it and it, it really brightened my day. You know, I pray that so many of all generations get the revelation and the desire to see a good change the way you have. I hope that the way that you called attention to the fact that your generation has kind of departed from the values of my generation will stir a movement that will cause many, many people to make a commitment to personal improvement without being critical and judgmental of others. I support a return to wholesome values because a world without good morals and guidelines can go out of control and into confusion really quick. I admire your desire to get back to the basic manners. Things like acts of kindness, opening the door for others, and treating the elders with respect, and saying yes ma'am and yes sir, and being a diligent worker, uniting our country, and even cleaning up your vocabulary. I just really appreciate that. So in my sincere desire to help you in that, I want to recommend to you a very reliable, very good source, and that's the Bible. Well, the Bible I know you've probably heard is intolerant, but it's not intolerant. It just knows where to draw the line. There are so many tools available nowadays to study it for yourself that you don't have to rely on some really religious person's interpretation. You can go online, you can get apps, look at commentaries, and do so many different translations that you can study it for yourself and then share what you find with others. I know the Bible for me has always been and always will be my source of understanding what's right and wrong. I've learned things from it like Treat others the way you want to be treated. Don't think too highly of yourself than you ought. Pride is ugly, but humility with confidence in Jesus is beautiful. Work hard as if you're working to God whom you love. Be rich in mercy and quick to forgive. Be quick to repent too because repentance leads to freedom and peace down in your conscience. Give generously. Love sincerely. Be a peacemaker. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. Value things like wisdom and knowledge and a good education. See purity as something to be treasured and guarded. Respect others and their property. I've come to know that if God makes a rule, it's because He loves us and He wants to keep us safe, spirit, soul, and body. His rules keep us safe from loss and devastation of our thoughts, our minds, and our souls. Those who do not understand the dangers of the spiritual side of issues like complaining, arguing, jealousy, um, sex outside of marriage, greed, anger, and retaliation, these people that don't understand God's laws call them intolerant but they're really ignorant of the dangers that they open their lives up to by ignoring God's Word. May there be a great awakening to the goodness of God and His Word because God is eager to empower those that would call upon Him for help in making a positive difference. Again, thank you, Alexis, for your post and your desire to start contributing to society. You've already gotten off to a really good start. And you have great potential just because of the awareness that you possess. I hope that you turn to God for help because I know He's eager to be there for you.